Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a cataract in a silicon oil filled eye. Let us observe this surgery. The patient is a 32 years old male. The patient underwent retinal detachment surgery and silicon oil has been used for tamponade. The patient has developed this cataract. The silicon oil is still there. The plan is to remove the cataract, implant an intraocular lens and silicon oil removal will be done whenever pituitinal surgeons thinks and now in this case is the main problem is rexus because the silicon oil is already putting an off thrust to the lens and the lens is almost mature the cataract is almost mature and there is some convexity of the lens the patient is also young 32 years old so rexis is going to be a bit tricky in such cases and rexis run out may occur in such cases so my plan is to do a small rexis first and then do some removal of lens matter reduce the intralenticular pressure and flatten the anterior capsule and then enlarge the rexis so a small rexis has been done now I am using a 23 gauze Simco cannula for removal of some lens matter so that convexity of the anterior capsule reduces intralenticular pressure becomes less and as I inject visco the anterior, anterior capsule will be almost flat here goes the visco this is 2% HPMC and now I take a vana scissor the patient is under topical anesthesia and the patient is cooperating well but the patient is not able to fix the eye at on position I have to frequently instruct the patient to look at the light an egg has been made at the margin of the small rexus and now the rexus is being enlarged still I am making a small rexus because I am afraid of rexus run out in this case the cataract is soft and a small rexus has been done size of this rexus is about 4.5 millimeter now inject visco in this case I am going to divide the nucleus using a pre chopper and this is Dr. Suhail Irfan Khan's pre chopper the lens is divided into two pieces first and then I rotate and on heminucleus has been divided into another two pieces now I come out no now I attempted to divide the other heminucleus also and now inject some more visco and then the feco needle goes in
can see that the nucleus is soft and the pre-chopper helps in such cases because such nucleus we cannot hold if we try to hold this nuclei we just eat up the lens matter which is just in front of the feco so pre-chopping helps in such cases The nucleus has been managed mm -hmm. and now cortical cleanup needs to be done. We have only one side port and I am using this 23 gauze Simco for a removal of the cortex. In silicon oil field eyes you will see some black areas on the posterior capsule. This is some pigment kind of thing sticking to the posterior surface of the posterior capsule. So those black spots cannot be polished out. The polishing of the posterior capsule has been done as far as possible. Now I inject visco. In this case, we have selected Hoya single piece monofocal intraocular lens. This is um, this is model on 50 no financial interest so this is Hoya intraocular lens model on 5G now the lens is oriented in this way haptics about 90 degree away from the main incision so that I can go <laughs> easily behind the lens and remove the visco between the intraocular lens and the posterior capsule. Now, before removing the visco, I'm going to enlarge the rexus. I made a very small nick at around 9 o'clock. And now I take the uterator forceps after several attempts. I could hold the tag and now uh, enlarge the rexus to about 5.25 millimeter. And now the size of the rexus is okay the patient is young 32 years old and in such cases the rexis should not be small there is a risk of anterior capsular phimosis occluding the anterior opening of the anterior capsule now the visco is being removed in this case we could do optical biometry and there is an option where you can uh, do optical biometry in silicon oil field eyes if we do ultrasonic biometry then uh, the axial length comes much more than normal we have to multiply the actual length that comes by ultrasonic method we have to multiply that actual length by 0 0.71 and we get fairly accurate actual length but if we have Where's optical it? biometry it is always better in this case the power of the intraocular lens has come as 22 
And now the patient has been told that after the surgery he will see better than when the cataract was almost mature but still your vision will not be normal. You will get good vision provided the function of your retina is okay after removal of the silicon oil and when the silicon oil will be removed that will be decided by video retinal surgeons all these instructions has been given to the patient now this is removal of visco the site port has been closed by corneal stromal hydration final lavage of the anterior chamber is done the anterior chamber is formed very nicely and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in managing cis cases cataracts with silicone oil in the vitreous cavity always remember that there is always an upthrust from behind by the silicon oil and your rexis has to be very careful in such cases.